<clears throat> going back to this LT77, I've stripped and cleaned off this uh, selector shaft and once I've taken it apart I'm not too happy at all with this at all look, see if we can get it here, see if it'll focus in here you can see that there's a, a lot of wear here and there's a step at the front I wonder if that's it, you know and there's a step at the back so I wonder if this little shuttle's getting cocked over the rest of it seems fine. The downside is, you think, oh, we'll put another shaft in. Have I got one? Yes, I have. But this one is off a Discovery. And this one is off a Defender. Now, if I get those pins together, you'll see one's considerably longer than the other one. And also, the hole's in the different place. And in a different, in a different size as well. So, sadly, we can't use the Disco one on a Defender. So I'm going to suggest we change that and I'm going to see if I can find a better shuttle you know this interlock thing here because it is a bit rounded on these corners I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that that's the problem I, I've never seen a new one but maybe Ashcroft's got a really good one because they're going to get the order from them and they, maybe they've got a shaft now as for the shafts you know, like all these selectors, they move well. It's just where this shuttle's been moving on here that has that has that been tipping and catching somehow. I've I've never seen a shaft wear here before like that. I've never seen that. Hmm. Now it's only a shaft, you might say, but. I'm not sure about these pins, whether these pins come in, because I know I've tried to get them out before and they're an absolute bugger. So anyway, that's I'm going to do that for the order, I'm just going to say bugger it. I'll, I, don't, I think the synchros are fine, I have no problems at all with the synchros, but I have problems with that shaft. Alright, let's see what happens. <clears throat> 